Hi guys, I'm sure that you've noticed that at a lot of tournaments, top competitors wear iPods or personal stereos uh, ringside before they go on and fight. And I have some interesting information about that which may cause you to emulate their behaviour or, or cause you to change what you listen to. Uh, the brain basically, um, when, whenever you think the electrical activity in the brain uh, forms, I guess you'd call them waves. Um, they're called brain waves, but but it's really it denotes the frequency of the activity in your brain. Now, at any given time, your brain is generating waves across the entire frequency spe spectrum that it's capable of. But essentially, your brain waves are divided into four main types: um, alpha, beta, delta, and theta. And uh, the two liveliest are uh, beta, which is the most energetic, and alpha, which is uh, equivalent to a more relaxed state. And uh, there's a process called entrainment, where you can induce the brain state that you want by listening to music. So, for example, if you listen to very calm classical music, you entrain your brain frequency to align to uh, a low frequency uh, which induces an alpha state which is very calming, very soothing, uh, is very useful for creative thought for example or for relaxation. Incidentally the theta state uh, is used for deep meditation um, most likely by um, trained practitioners but again you can you can listen to music which uh, entrains a, a theta state but the state that you're most interested in for tournament is the beta state and the beta state is a very energetic state it's uh well it's it's the state that your brain is most commonly in when you're awake it's alert it's uh invigorated it's um it's firing on all, all cylinders i guess you'd say and um there is a frequency range for uh the beta state let me just look this up the beta state generally ranges between 13 and 38 hertz, that's uh, cycles per second. And uh, you can induce this state or entrain this state by listening to moderately upbeat music. Now when I say moderately it's very important here because you can go beyond the beta state into what's known as a gamma state and this is a, a new subdivision of the um, of the beta state I guess you'd say but it, but it occurs high, at a higher frequency. Um, and uh, certain types of music can induce a gamma state and a gamma state is really not good for you. Uh, one of the characteristics of the beta state at higher frequencies is that it, it comes with uh, an increased pulse rate, so not good if you suffer from high blood pressure. Also in, uh, comes with paranoia and anxiety. So if you move beyond that state up to an even faster state by listening to really, really loud, fast music, then you move into the gamma state and, and all of these um, all of these characteristics are magnified and it's actually been shown scientifically that a percentage of the uh, population can actually be induced into seizures and even uh, even people who are not, you know, a small percentage of the population, uh, you can bring about completely detrimental health effects by listening to very fast, very aggressive music. Um, in fact, uh, when they play very hostile music to plants, it can even kill them. So imagine, you know, I mean obviously you can't necessarily extrapolate things that happen to plants and humans, but it, um, it, it has been shown that you can uh, bring about very negative health effects by, by this kind of really nasty music. Um, and I, I mean nasty. I mean personally, I can't stand thrash or death metal. I think it's all a bit, um, it's all a bit hateful. But, but you know, um, I mean nasty physiologically. Um, you know, I'm, I'm uh, not making an aesthetic choice, um, an aesthetic judgment here. Although personally, I don't like it. But from a physiological point of view, this kind of music is very bad for you. But uh, here's a really interesting thing: that if you induce this beta state by listening to energetic but not mental music um, just before you go ringside what it does is it energizes you it, it produces a feeling of positivity and problem solving makes your brain work much quicker but and here's the thing that's really interesting it slows your action time by up to 10 percent 
So it all depends if your priorities are um, quick thinking and tactical adjustment, then you would probably be prepared to move yourself into a beta state at the expense of reaction speed. Or if you consider that your ability to move quickly is more important than your ability to solve problems in the ring, then it would actually be more beneficial for you to listen to quieter music, trance, classical, that kind of thing, which induces the alpha state. Now the alpha state, um, so far as I'm aware, there are no known negative side effects. It's, it's um, the kind of state that you'd be in, say, if you were drawing or just uh, kind of lazing around or thinking or meditating, something like that. Very beneficial brain state. And, and again, um, you know, a, a very useful state to be in in, uh, in the ring. Uh, and with none of the uh, performance negatives associated with the beta state. Now, uh, it must be said that in studies with uh, professional basketball players, um, there's a phenomenon known as choking, and choking is when you go to take your shot and stress uh, stress and fear of failing um, magnify so much in your brain that you miss the shot. And it has been uh, shown that listening to moderately energetic music just before taking your shot, something like, um, ironically, uh, the, the, um, the humorous song Always Look on the Bright Side of Life from Monty Python, um, if you listen to things like that, it actually significantly reduces choking um, as, as much as 10%. And uh, the reasons for that are theorised that uh, you, your cognitive skills improve straight away, but also uh, your stress level decreases and also that you are distract, uh, distracted. So you're not stressing out. It's a bit like having an affirmation. Uh, my sensei, Sensei Jason, just this week was talking about the importance of affirmations in kata performance. And one of the uh, factors that he talked about was that when you're doing an affirmation, it prevents you having uh, spare thoughts left over to, uh, to trash talk yourself. So, for example, if you are standing up to the line and, and you're very nervous, you might normally be thinking, don't mess up, oh, I always mess up this bit, I always stagger, I hope the floor's not too rough, that kind of thing. And they're very detrimental because they, they can be self-fulfilling because you're focusing on what you don't want to happen. And if you have a positive affirmation as you step up to the line, something like, um, oh, uh, stay calm, relax, nice deep stances, move quickly, something like that, then it doesn't leave spare brain activity to dwell on the negative. Uh, now I, um, I find it very distracting to have more than two affirmations per move, but uh, I think it's been, um, it's been uh, discovered that your brain is only capable of thinking of three things at a time. So if all three of the things you're thinking about are positive, then it leaves no wrong, uh, no, no wrong, oh, talk clearly, Matt. It leaves no room for the negative affirmations, if you like, the, the, the negative trash talk, self-talk that you're going to give that's going to bring you down. So uh, just an interesting thought there, guys. Um, kind of got on to affirmations, but really what you're doing is, is you're replacing affirmations with music, uh, music which will stop you choking, mu music which will stop you having a negative self-talk and uh, hopefully, you know, I, I would think that when you reach a certain stage that you go into the ring and your response to the other person is quite natural. I don't consciously think very hard when I'm in the ring. I, I react or I, you know, if, if I'm going to take the fight to them, then, then often I will have a plan but if I'm reacting to them I don't have a plan particularly and and um, you know that's the unconscious competence that you're looking for and if um, if you have unconscious competence then it strikes me that being in a uh, an alpha wave state as induced by quieter music is going to be great for you if you require fast thinking and strategizing, then you might give up the 10% reaction time in order to be able to think more quickly and, and in which case a beta state would be better for you. So uh, I hope you find that interesting guys. You take care.